Yeah. Number eight in a di in the diagram, triangle PQR is okay, what's the symbol mean right here? Y'all names Kevin. Y'all names Kevin. The triangle YWX. Based off the information diagram, what is the length of what does this mean when you have a line over it? They're connected a line. line. Segment XY. I'm gonna let you all think on this, try to solve it on your own. We'll come back. All right, looking back at the problem, uh, what are you able to determine about P and R versus X and Y? They are congruent. That's because the letter, the order of the letters match up. They give us on the left triangle, P and R, which is the first and the third letter of the triangle. So over here, we better have Y and X. Is that what they gave us over here? Y and X? Yes, because of that, we can set these equals to each other. 4X minus 7 equals... 2x plus 3. How would you solve from here? Um, add 7 to both sides. Add 7 to both sides. I don't want to do... I'll just do two steps. 4x equals 2x plus 10. And now? Uh, Keep doing our algebra opposites. So I'm subtracting. You cancel out that plot of 2x. So 4x minus 2x is... 2x equals... 2x equals 10, which means after we divide by 2, 1x will be 5. Now, does that mean that's the answer? No. We want to know x, y, this link. So plug it in. So it's 2 times 5 plus 3. What does that give us? 13. 5 is 10 plus 3 is 13. Is that 